hi teachers hello and we're back here so again my name is teacher Jill and I am an Ingo tutor okay so ngayon ang video na gagawin natin is all about um, I will be answering um, frequently asked questions tungkol sa Ingo or the FAQs, okay? So, ito yung mga tanong ng mga nag-PPM sa akin, ganon. So, teachers, um, sorry talaga kung minsan late na ako mag-respond sa inyo or mag-reply sa inyo. Ang dami nyo talaga, hindi ko kayo maisa-isa lahat, but I am trying my best na ma-replyan ko kayo lahat. So, please be patient with me. Kasi ang dami nyo, tas isa lang ako. So, please, um, haba Ano na lang yung pasensya nyo. And I highly recommend to watch my tutorial videos um, tungkol sa Ingo. Kasi if hindi ko man kayo na-replyan, at least um, andito yung mga sagot nyo dito sa video ko and sa mga previous videos ko pa. Okay? So, hindi, kung hindi nyo napanood yung previous videos ko, um, andyan sa description box below, you can watch it again. Okay? And please don't forget to like comment on what my next video should be and please um, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification button para naman updated kayo sa susunod kong video. Okay, so ngayon let us start teachers. So, question number one. What is Ingo? Okay, Ingo, um, before, yung name ng company na to is Bibo, or B-I-B-O, Bibo Global Opportunity Incorporated. Um, nung college ako, kasi nagpa-part-time ako dito, para sa mga um, hindi alam, nag-start ako, nag-work dito nung 2016 pa, and I was fourth year college that time. I do it as a part-time job lang before. But now, I'm doing it um, full-time as a teacher. So, noon, ang pangalan nito is Bibo Global Opportunity Incorporated. But now, um, they changed the name into Ingo. So, this means that yung Bibo and Ingo is just the same. Okay? Next, um, requirements to become an Ingo tutor. Okay, so the requirements para maging Ingo tutor kayo, hindi ko na, ano, hindi ko na isa-isa hindi to. Please, watch nyo na lang yung video, yung how to apply um, as an Ingo tutor na sa previous videos ko, okay? Next, how to apply... Again, yung how to apply, andun na sa previous videos ko, so you can watch it. Next is, what is the process of the application? Requirements to become an Ingo tutor. Okay, teachers, yung requirements uh, and yung process, yung step-by-step -step process, nasa previous video ko na, you can watch that one. Just to give an additional information, okay? So, yung requirement na 18 years old, um, regardless yun ha, if it's your um, with or without experience that is accepted here, undergraduate or not, um, you are accepted here, um, with a certification or not, you are still accepted here, okay? As long as you are 18 years old and above. Then, meron tayong question dito, pwede ba yung prepaid Wi-Fi? okay lang ba yung pre home prepaid wifi as long as my LAN cable? So, the answer is no. So, ang nirequire talaga ng Ingo is uh, postpaid wifi, yung modem talaga, and with LAN cable. Yung connected talaga yung modem, and then yung telephone nyo, and the cable. Kasi, during the process ng application, they will ask for the picture or a picture na picturean mo yung modem nyo, yung LAN cable mo, and also the um, telephone. So, ewan ko, hindi ka makapag-cheat dito. Okay? So, next, um, specs ng laptop or computer. Okay, teachers, paulit-ulit ko itong sinasabi. Ang Ingo, walang 
ni require na specs. But uh, for me lang ha, I highly recommend na at least 4 GB yung installed physical memory ng laptop or desktop nyo. Um, kasi para hindi siya maglalag or hindi siya um, mag cutting in and out during the demo lesson or hindi sh or wala siyang mga interruption during the demo lesson para talaga tuloy-tuloy okay kasi may materials tayo may tools tayo eh so baka kasi pag um baka kasi if you will navigate the tools maglalog siya so, yun lang. But then again, gusto ko klaruhin, ang Ingo is walang nirequire na specs. Okay? Again, for the English, it's not necessary to have an American accent or slang in English as long as you don't sound like local or parang Pinoy na Pinoy. Just sound it neutral. Dapat neutral accent. Okay? Okay. Um, next. Maraming nagkaka-problema nito. Maraming nagpipm sa akin na teach. Um, I tried to access the website pero parang mali yung website. Parang students website yung napuntahan ko. And when I check, yeah, students website talaga. Okay. Uh, ewan ko kung ba't kayo napunta dun. Hindi ko alam. But um, when you apply in Ingo, um, dun nasa description box yung link kung saan kayo mag a apply okay? Andun yung um, English test and online um, internet and connection test. Okay, we have another question here. Um, teach, nakapag-book na ako, tas hindi ako naka-attend. Pwede pa ba ako maka-attend? Okay, again, ask your um, Ingo support team or the recruitment team. I highly recommend you to email them to request a rebooking. And yes, rebooking is allowed. Okay? And take note, teach, yung PST na sinasabi ng um, Ingo, like, your training time is 9 a.m. PST. So, hindi yun Pacific time. That is Philippine Standard Time. Okay, marami kasing teachers na nag-PPM din sa akin na nalilito sila. Ano yung PST? Ano yung ganun? Pacific time ba yun? No, that is Philippine Standard Time. So, if they will say 9 a.m. PST, that is 9 a.m. Philippine Standard Time. Okay? Okay, another question we have here, and I think nasagot ko na to sa ibang videos ko. Um, ilan ba yung demo? So, there are two demos. First is... Uh, with material and second is free conversation or free talk um, during sa training ko since um, sa mga hindi nakakaalam I do trainings I conduct training sa mga teachers na meron ng schedule sa kanilang demo lesson so nag to train ako I do mock demo lesson for them to prepare and during sa training ko ikakover ko yung um, mock demo lesson with material and mock demo lesson with free conversation. Para talaga maging prepared kayo. Okay, next. Need pa ba ito ng resume? No. Um, Ingo does not need your resume or any certificate. But if you have, then that's good. If not, then okay lang. <laughs> okay. Next. Is this applicable for full-time or part-time? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is applicable for both. It's either part-time or full-time. Then that's totally okay. Okay? Ano ba ang time sa Ingo mag-start ng teaching? Depende sa'yo. Either full-time, part-time, either morning, afternoon, kahit pa anong oras. In Ingo, teachers, it we are um, operating 24-7. That means 24 hours in 7 days. That means every day, every time, every second. Or ano bang tawag dyan? Uh, depende sa'yo. You can open 12 midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Depende sa'yo yan. Uh, marami tayong students dito. Like, I swear, maraming students. So, based lang sa experience ko, ha? Um, hindi talaga ako na zero dito. Um, in a range of 8 slots, 
meron akong 7 slots na reserve or 6 slots na reserve. Siguro mga 2 slots lang yung hindi na reserve or open pa. Ganon. Okay? So, you don't need to worry when you apply here. Um, it is already guaranteed na maraming magbubook sa'yo. Okay, next. Um, how can you get your salary? Okay, so, uh, sa salary, um, they are partnered with BPI. So, sa mga wala pang BPI, kasi nga, di ba, lockdown tayo ngayon, um, or yung iba ma hindi makaka-travel, so they send the payment through M. Luwilier. Um, Doon nila isi-send yung um, sahod mo. Kagaya ko, na hindi pa ako makakapunta ng BPI, wala pa rin akong account din sa BPI. So, what I do is, nare-request ko na sa M. Luwilier muna. Alright? Next, uh, may incentives ba? Yes, a lot of incentives. Super achievable pa nila. Ano ang nationality ng students and their ages? Okay, so nationality ng students. Um, mostly, they are Japanese students kasi itong Ingo sa Japan, sa Japan naman talaga ito nagmula. And, but they have Korean students, they have um, Taiwanese students. So, iba't ibang nationalities. But, um, so far, sa tagal ko dito, all of the students are very kind. Wala pa akong, wala pa akong na-experience na rude student. Ano ang level ng students? So, there are, um, there are different levels of students dito sa Ingo. My kids, uh, my elementary school to high school, and meron ding adults. And yung mga oldies na talaga, like 46 years old, 50 years old. I have tried na, ano na siya, 60 years old or 50, 50-ish something. And still, he is studying English. So, yeah. Meron talaga. Marami. Marami tayo yung students talaga dito sa Ingo. May support ba na mag-assist sa sa'yo if ever my questions? Yes. The support is open 24-7. Except lang sa accounting na support. Or yung may dispute ka sa sahod. Or may, may questions ka sa sahod. Um... I think they are only available from Mondays to Fridays. Um, they are not available Saturdays and Sundays. But mostly talaga yung support, like tutor support, they are open 24-7. Alright. Um, how much per hour? Ito na. How much um, per hour dito sa Ingo? So it is 120 per hour. So that means 60 pesos per 25 minute. Okay na? <laughs> Alam ko, yan hinihintay nyo. Um, kailangan ba may TIN or TIN? Yes, kailangan may TIN. So, just um, a disclaimer, guys. Um, in Ingo, we are tagged as independent contractor. Meaning, parang online business na ikaw yung owner ng business mo. So, ganun dito sa Ingo. Ikaw ang owner ng, ano, ano ba tawag doon? Parang ikaw, independent, yung independent contractor, um, you will be the one to pay for the tax. Ikaw yung magbabayad sa SSS mo, sa pag-ibig mo, sa PhilHealth mo, ganun. Okay? Next. nag apply na ako before, pwede pa ba mag-apply ulit? Yes, you can. Um, if you failed, you can reapply after 6 months. So, after 6 months, you can reapply. You can come back. But, um, yung iba nagtatanong din, nag-a-apply na ako before, if ever ba ma-failed ako, pwede ako mag-apply ulit. Ibang Gmail lang ang gagamitin ko. Um, para sa akin ha, nung nag-apply ka kasi, nag-upload nag -upload ka ng picture, di ba? May picture dun, like ID, di ba? So, if ever mag-apply ka ulit, iniba mo lang yung Gmail account mo, madidetect din nila yun. Kasi may may ID kang in may ID kang in-upload eh. So, parang you need to wait for 6 months talaga before you can apply back. Ito naman may nagtanong, teach may interview pa ba? So, no, there is no more interview. 
So again, um, yung step-by-step -step application process, nag-upload ako ng video, yun lang ang application steps natin or application process. Doon sa video na yun, hindi ko sinabi na may interview. So it means, walang interview. Okay? And also teachers, if you are connected to a different ESL company, please don't tell it or please don't um, disclose it or wag mong sabihin na you are connected with other companies because Ingo doesn't allow that. Hindi nila tatanggapin kapag ikaw ay connected sa ibang ESL companies. But, if you are connected with other companies um, except for ESL, then okay sa kanila yan. For example, I am working as an HR in a different company or I am working as a nurse, then that is totally fine. But if you are working with different ESL company, then that's a no-no. Alright, so I think yun lang. Yun lang naman yung mga um, frequently asked questions. So again, teachers, um, I'm very sorry talaga po hindi ko kayo marireplyan lahat agad-agad. Um, I'll make sure marireplyan ko kayo lahat pero hindi lang talaga agad-agad, okay? So please be patient with me. So again, teachers, if you already have a schedule sa training mo, please book a training and a mock demo lesson with me para matulungan ko kayo paano makapasok at paano makapasa sa demo lesson, okay? So I hope I have answered all your questions and I hope that everything is clear. Again, don't forget to read uh, what's in the description box. So again, teachers, thank you. Sh <laughs> So again, teachers, thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment on what my next video should be. And please um, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification button para naman updated kayo sa susunod kong video. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye!